Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. According to Islam, the rulers, in the true sense of the word, are those that provide peace. They improve the economic well-being of their subjects, they make their lives secure, and they do not squander the country's resources in unnecessary wars. In other words, the state is obligated to ensure peace, security, and the well-being of its citizens. This is what Hazrat Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmad Razi Ta'ala Anho explains in his book, The Economic System of Islam. Hazur shows that it is only through the teachings of Islam that a truly just system of governance and economics can be established. He illustrates that Islam is the first religion in the world that openly declares the basic goal of a government, which is to protect the life, the honor, and the property of its citizens. According to the Holy Quran, the Islamic economic system begins with a system of governance. Islam enjoins the rulers to judge with absolute justice and impartiality, reminding them that they are ultimately answerable before God. This system of governance is fundamentally democratic. It is based on fair and free elections. It is a system which ensures that justice will prevail. It ensures the basic needs of the people will be satisfied and that incentives are there for achieving, achieving these excellences. In this lecture, Hazur Razi Ta'ala Anho shows us from the Holy Quran that a proper governance structure is a prerequisite for the establishment of the Islamic economic system. It would be impossible to have an Islamic economic system in an otherwise corrupt political and social environment. This book spells out the responsibilities of both the rulers and the ruled. For an in-depth study on Islamic economics, you can find a copy of this book at alislam.org.